Go on then. Oh, don't film me, don't film me, but watch me climb. Now, I'm really hoping you fall and we can send this to you being framed. Yes. June 21st, 2021. Episode one of Hutton Life. I sound really corny when I was saying it like that and I'm really high up in a tree. But June 21st, 2021. A lot of ones ready for episode one of Hut and Life. And this is Hut and Life. We go out, we go and have little random date days. We have little date days. We just get out wherever we can. We've got a lot of lovely places close to us. We get out when we can, and that's, that's all that matters. And when we do, you will be coming along with us. So I've said so 14 million times, and I don't think I can edit them all out. So this was our first date place. Suppose I'm gonna steal my wife's idea and, and let you know about this. Because she's made me. Like, arm twisted up the back, made me do this. So when me and Jackie were first getting together, we decided uh, that we were just gonna do fun things. We weren't gonna do the boring, let's go for a first date, sat in a restaurant, not talking to each other, shoving food in our face. We decided to get out there and go for a walk in the middle of nowhere, basically. Um, and, and she said that she'd got this place that she'd always loved, Cresswell Crags, which is in Cresswell. It's not far away from where we live. It's, it's a lovely, lovely place. I mean, it's very overgrown right at this moment in time, so you can't actually see what, what lovely sights there are. As you can see, very, very overgrown. There's normally a nice big lake in the middle of here, and you can see it on the other side, and I'm sure I'll put some uh, video in while I'm talking so you can see it via the power of editing. But we decided that we were going to go on a little date day and a walk around here. Uh, and, and to be fair, it's actually become one of our favourite places. It's a little bit grey and grey <laughs> today. But when the sun's shining and the, you can smell the flowers and all that funky stuff, it's just one of the best places to be in the world. In the world. And especially when I'm with my favourite person, <laughs> she always does this noise when I'm about to start filming. She goes, <laughs> gets all shy and intimidated by the camera. Um, but yeah, it's like one of our favourite places. It's, it's one of the nicest places to just walk around. It's a big circle and it's just a nice big loop with loads of caves around us. And one day we'll come and we'll go through the caves. Um, not today, but one day. And it's just one of the nicest places to be. And, and when we came and we were just us, just me and her, walking around, enjoying ourselves, climbing rocks, going into caves, slipping on my arse, them kind of fun stuff. Oh, you did? I did, I did, I fell on my arse, didn't I? That's funny. Uh, that weren't recorded, thank God. I slipped, slid on my arse, and dented the bottom of my phone, all that fun <laughs> stuff. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just one of the greatest places to be. And you know when you find them kind of places, they're just absolutely, absolutely stunning, no matter what the weather. I mean, we've been here when it's freezing cold, when it's raining, when it's snowing, when it's sunny, and the lot. And if you guys have got a nice place that you like to go, please, please, please put it down in the comments and let me know about your favorite places to go. I'm not saying I'm gonna go, because some of you might be a million miles away, but it's always nice to know where your guys special places are and this is definitely one of mine um but yeah we we take any opportunity we can to get back here and, and just come for a walk and just get out of the house and get out of the day-to-day -day life and just just go and enjoy yourself fun fact before rudely being told that i have to get married properly by my mother um me and jackie were actually going to elope here uh, we were going to get our friend ordained as a minister uh we looked into all that fun stuff and we were just going to elope and just actually get married at Cresswell Crags. Just a small little ceremony thing. And, and just, just get married here. It quickly became, like I said multiple times in this video already, one of our favourite places. And because of that, we were, actually, we were actually just going to get married here. We were going to get in front of one of the caves or in front of the lake or, or something like that. Get ordained. Have a good old-fashioned knees up in the middle of a field with some 2020 and some white light. No, we weren't. But we were going to have a good old-fashioned 
elope uh, here to Cresswell Crags, which didn't pan out, thanks mum. Uh, she told me I had to get married properly with people there and stuff. Uh, but it was one of the ideas at the beginning. That first date that we had round here was like one of the best dates that I've ever, ever had with anyone. And I'm not just saying that because she's studying, but when you spend a life, God, first dates are just awkward normally. But when you, sp when you spend a life going for a meal on a first date or going to a cinema on a first date or doing all of the cliches, to actually just get outside with one of your favorite people when we were snogging and the man with the lawnmower. <laughs> oh no, we were, we were having a snog, <laughs> as, as couples do, as we were walking down. And this guy was walking around with a lawnmower. And I'm, I'm not saying that he were a serial killer, but he looked serial killer-ish. <laughs> <laughs> we did get very, very nervous, let's put it that way. But yeah, you just go out with your favorite person, you get to know each other and you just go. And if your feet work, <laughs> I don't know what I mean by if your feet work, but if you can get out there, and just do something with your favourite person, then... And that's now what we base the whole marriage on. All right. Getting out and having fun. That's a bit deep. But yeah, that is what we base the marriage on. Get out there, go out, make your world a little bit smaller just by being you two, and that's, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Anyway, I think that'll do us for today's video. Um, there are many, many more coming, but... What I'm going to say is if you want to join us here on Hut and Life, don't forget to hit subscribe. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Are you out of breath? I am a little bit, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what my hand's doing either. <laughs> my hand was all the way up there. Um, but like the video, subscribe, share it around the social medias if you can. And that was it. This was Cresswell Crags and this has been Hut and Life and we'll catch you on the next one. It's going for a wee. It goes for a week everywhere. <laughs> I got ya.